biological products are very sensitive to their environment. The advancement of new modalities such as antibody drug conjugates, mRNA lipid nanoparticle complexes, or gene therapy as vaccines pose individual challenges to the container closure system. For some types of therapies, we are only just beginning to understand the risks that need to be mitigated to keep them safe and effective. One major risk associated with the biological product is adsorption onto the container closure components. Another risk is migration of chemical entities into the final formulation, also known as leachables. These risks could impact patient safety and product efficacy. One of the direct contact materials is the rubber closure. That is an elastomeric material with cross-linked polymer chains. Additional ingredients are needed to meet the most stringent requirements for chemical, physical, and functional performance of the rubber stopper. Bare rubber has a relatively high surface roughness that has the potential for biological products to interact with the contacting surface. So, how can we mitigate this risk to patient safety? We can add a layer of a solid fluoropolymer film, also known as fluorotech film. This film is directly laminated onto the elastomer components during the molding process. The effectiveness of the fluorotech barrier depends on the quality and thickness of the film. A consistent film coverage at the elastomer contact surface eliminates the need for additional siliconization or sprayed-on coatings. Fluorotech film is also an effective barrier due to the fluoropolymer structure that is a closely packed fluorine and carbon backbone which is very strong and stable. This effectively delays, diminishes, or even blocks chemical migration. The Fluorotech film product contact area has a very smooth surface which supports a reduction in adsorption. Fluorotech film also has no reactive functional groups, is sterilizable, and resistant to degradation and chemical attack. Improvement of clinical safety and effectiveness was shown for Fluorotech film in the case of erythropoietin alpha. An increasing number of patients with chronic kidney disease were showing an immunogenicity response upon subcutaneous injection with a pre-filled syringe. Several factors were hypothesized to contribute, amongst them leachates from the rubber, as no protective fluorotech film was used. Following these events, various product and handling changes took place. In 2001, a plunger with a fluorotech lamination was introduced and an effective barrier was created. That key change, along with potential contributions from formulation and handling changes, led to significant decreases in adverse events. Controlling the risk for leachables and adsorption by using a fluorotech film represents a significant step towards protecting the medicines delivered to the patient. Fluorotech film has been approved by global regulatory agencies and utilized on hundreds of commercialized drug and biologic products for decades.